Only one engine is offered in the tracks, and it's not a great one. The turbocharged 1.4 liter inline 4 makes 138 horsepower, a low number for this segment, and it's fuzzy and unrefined. Around town, the engine's turbocharger provides a decent amount of low end punch as soon as you need to pass or merge on the highway. However, the engine runs out of steam, providing more noise than actual acceleration when you step on it. The six-speed automatic is smooth enough, but often executes sluggish shifts and is sometimes reluctant to downshift. The Trax is bulky despite the fact that we tested the car with its lighter front-wheel drive setup. Its upscale cousin, the Buick Encore, offers a more powerful turbocharged engine that gets to 60 miles per hour 1.5 seconds quicker. You will spend more money for the Buick's edition, as it starts at more than $27,000 with that optional powertrain. Accepting its subpar powertrain, the Trax drives well, with composed handling and a comfortable ride. The Trax's powertrain provides weak acceleration, even among the class of vehicles not known for sprightliness. The 1.4-liter turbo engine's low-end torque makes for decent off the line pep, but the engine feels strained when you attempt to merge or pass on the freeway. The six-speed automatic transmission is sometimes reluctant to downshift to a lower gear when you need more power. A firm ride and good body control give the tracks a feeling of solidity, and quick steering makes it agile in parking lots and urban areas. There's less body roll and corners than you'd expect given the tracks' tall stature, although the handling isn't as responsive and eager as competitors such as the Mazda CX-3 and the Kia Soul. The tracks' brakes are among the strongest in its class, and the pedal feels firm and confidence-inspiring. 